Hi, I'm Flame, and you're watching Geek My Ride. These days, everyone's concerned about the environment and the global financial crisis. That's why I drive an economy car. And I always recycle. Now everyone knows they need to recycle bottles and newspapers. But you can do even more for the environment and your bank balance by reusing things you would normally throw away. Plastic shopping bags make great toys for your kids. And you can use old motor oil to fertilise your lawn. You can also recycle things like cars, computers and even girlfriends. Last year I decided to install a computer in my car for engine management, diagnostics and logging. I asked around and managed to get hold of several recycled laptops, including a 7-inch Asus triple E PC with a broken keyboard and no power supply. The first thing I did with the triple E PC was pull it to bits. I then put enough of the bits back together to install triple E Ubuntu Linux using an external keyboard and a USB stick. Next I removed the interior panel from between the seats of my 300ZX, removed the insulation from behind the panel and tested that the components were all going to fit. Unfortunately they didn't all fit because the 7 inch triple E PC has a stupid little L shaped circuit board connected to the screen. I had to extend the backlight cable and turn the circuit board on an angle to make it fit where it needed to go. I mounted the screen in front of the panel and used some rubber U channel as edging around it. Because the heatsink in the triple E PC is part of the case, I kept the motherboard in the case and just used my Dremel to remove some bits of plastic that were in the way. I soldered wires from the power switch on the motherboard to a switch on the dashboard and wired a 12 volt power supply into the cable that used to run to my cigarette lighter. I held everything in position with some foam blocks and screwed the panel back in place. The computer is connected to the ECU port under the dash and I'm running some open source engine management software that was written specifically for the 300ZX. I now have a text console which displays details from my ECU in real time. All up this project cost me about $50 plus the ECU cable. For more details, check out our website at geekmyride.org. And don't forget to recycle. Next time we talk to Flame, we'll see his other onboard computer.